what's going on? Move the mouse here back in City Skylines with our Let's Play Season 6, Episode Number 5, The Town of Wood Garden. And we're on our way to the next milestone at 12,000. One of the things we could do to kill a little bit of time is work on a bit of mass transit. We don't have a ton of demand for anything other than industrial, and I would like to continue meeting that with office. So we'll see where we can cram some more of those in. I'd like to get to that next tile, though, so we can keep building that way and do the lower density stuff kind of feathering off towards the highway. But maybe it's time for stage one of our monorail, and I don't use these enough. So monorail station with road. Let's cram one of these in here. So we'll try and get this in here at just the right angle. Right there. Does that work? Four lane road. Yes, it does. And then we'll go to our four lane roads with monorail tracks. And let's just upgrade this the whole way down. So how often do we want to have monorail? Maybe every skip a block at least. We'll put another one here if it'll let me. Let's see. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's see if it'll let me do this. Let me see if I can get one right there. And I think that will be far enough away. Yeah, so it will let me do that. And then we can go to our four lanes, straight. Connect that, and then we'll upgrade the rest of them. So, just to do something a little bit different with our downtown area. Let's make our first monorail line and just move people between these two stations for now. And then we'll keep blowing away the line and making it longer and longer and we'll extend it down our entire Main Street area. And I think that's got kind of an interesting look. Let's, let's see, actually, how interesting of a look that is on foot. Because we haven't seen somebody for a few episodes where... Where is he? There's Poochie. Pooch. Town mascot. I, I like that. It's, you know, it's got that elevated train look. It's the closest thing we're going to get to elevated trains on uh, on consoles. Um, we will eventually... Let's hit play. We will eventually um, be able to do some really cool things with the, uh, the Metro overhaul mod once I dive into that some more. Let's throw on one time speed. Let's just kind of see what stuff actually looks like cruising around down here. Because that... that monorail flew by so fast. Poochie's excited. I like it. I like it. I like the look of this. This is kind of cool. I wish I did this more often, but you really got to keep residents away from this. Otherwise, they will just go insane from the noise pollution. Um, if you're ever in Chicago, try and walk underneath one of the elevated trains or just drive under an elevated train. It's so loud. It's so, so crazy loud in Chicago on the L. Um, but I don't have to live next to it, so that's okay. We'll keep expanding. We've got a bit of industrial demand, so maybe we continue with offices. Maybe we do another office park somewhere off of here, maybe. I don't know. I do not know. Um, I'd really love to be able to buy this tile and expand that way. Let's throw it on three times speed. Let's see what we get demand for next. A little bit of residential cropping up. So let's see where we can cram them in. We could come in back here with another neighborhood. That would be fine. Get some more people. I was going to kind of keep stepping it back up, but we need the people moving in. Oh, I don't want to do that, though, because we wanted that gradual elevation shift. So let's go to the selection tool, and we'll do to right here. And then maybe what we could do is come down to here, like so, and we'll do like a park here, kind of have a, a park, a national park, if you will, kind of down here by the river, do something fun with that. Maybe do some, uh, actually do some of the pier buildings. I don't think I've done that in the parks yet. So that might kind of break up the map a little bit and give us some interesting things to do. I was going to kind of do the same thing down here too. These are 
gravel roads where people can come down here. And maybe we can make kind of this coast just a, a giant city-wide park, but, you know, of the nature reserve kind. Let's get rid of, I was going to say, let's dezone that. Get that one little house right there. It's kind of stupid, but, but that is okay. Let's see. The next intersection down this way. So the next intersection, we're going to carry a fatter road, maybe a four lane road or a six lane road up from the highway so that there's some cross, some cross traffic we can deliver up and down the city. We are at 10,200 on our way to 12. We've got a little bit of residential pocket to find out there. This is kind of a, a secondary main artery, if you will, because it connects out to this road, which connects to the highway. So I'm going to keep building back here towards the highway. Let's stop here. And we'll fill all this in with residents. And I think we can kind of use these trees as a natural barrier. So we can actually fill this in a little bit. Let's do that to kind of... What do we have? Conifers? So something like that, do the same thing over here. Fill that in a little bit. And maybe we can do some dead end streets down here now. Something like so. And we'll start kind of letting the trees take over and force us to shorten those roads a little bit more. Maybe we can do the same sort of thing here. So what if we just connected like that? And what if we come out to here and did that? I think that could be okay. Tons and tons of industrial demand. I really... I haven't got a hold of this, so this doesn't, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, this doesn't really answer any of our industrial demand, right? Adding in more farmland and things like that doesn't do anything. Let's, you know what, let's run a theory. Let's let's test that out for sure. And let's expand as much as possible our little forestry area here. So we'll go over to gravel roads. Connect right in the middle. What is already occupying that space? It's saying it can't connect there? Okay. Come back 30, come over, let's come over 12 and connect like that. And then let's see what we can fit in here for industry buildings now. In this case, this is the forestry area. So let's expand that out over to here. And let's see what we can get going. So what do we have? We have two, three, no, two plantations. Small tree plantation, small tree, and then the main building. And then we have a sawmill and a log yard here. All right, so let's actually take a look. So we know what we've got for buildings. What do we have for level over here? Because we haven't really been focusing on this one at all. 110 of 126 possible workers. We need 150 to get to the next level, and then we just need to keep cranking out the goods. So let's get more space for people to work over here and i don't see a problem with just spamming uh plantations here can we get three in on this strip that would be ideal we can and then i want to tighten this road up So 
So we'll bring this over to there and that's just enough to clear that. We'll bring water over here. That should be good, although we are in the yellow. Let's check our budget. Oh, I do this every time. I forget when I unlock the high density to turn the taxes up on those. Leaving money on the table. Speaking of, take, pay, take. Got a little bit of money in the bank now. Um, yeah, so let's look at this again. So uh, we need to worry about water. And then we'll come back to our forestry industry. Did we unlock eco or we unlock that the next milestone? So let's get one more sewage treatment plan in for now. Before we start to clean up our water a little bit. And now our water availability should be all in the green. We're good to go there. So we've got a bunch of got a bunch of tree plantations and now we've leveled up our industry area for forestry as well. So level two there. We've got some unique stuff. So let's take a look. Biomass pellet, furniture factory, sawdust storage, worker barracks and small tree sapling field. Let's pause the game and let's dive into each one of these and, and really kind of take a look. So we're on the forestry tab. We know we have a main building. Forestry workers barracks. So we'll do that. Ooh, some nice log cabins. That's that's pretty nice. Nice little look there. Now we've got the small tree plantation, which we've already put in there, and that outputs raw forest products. The small tree sapling field. A small field with rows of planted tree saplings. Tree sapling field produced raw forest products. Extractors needed to place uh, forest areas. Uh, 5,516 a week upkeep. 25 workplaces, zero pollution. Four thousand eight dollars per week upkeep. 20 workplaces. It's more expensive, but probably more output from a sapling field, which is kind of weird to me. Um, but whatever. Let's let's throw a couple of them in here because we want to get a little bit of everything in here and see how it all works together. So those are the saplings. Now we have the sawmill and the sawmill takes those products and makes them into timber. The biomass pellet plant takes the raw forest products to produce paper. Oh, we're going to need that. Now this does cause pollution and noise pollution. So let's get this away from away from those. So let's gravel road it. Let's connect it right into there. Let's do the biomass pellet plant right up here. So the pollution and the noise pollution bubble are exactly the same. We'll kind of sit it right, right there so that, yeah, it's dirtying up the road, but it's not affecting the farmland across the way and it's not affecting our trees over here. Let's confirm water coverage. Now let's see if we need to bring power over there. I feel like we might. We'll let it play. Not enough goods. No surprise. You haven't had anything delivered yet. So where else? What else can we cram in here? So a small log yard, we reached our milestone. What is this? Sawdust storage building for storing raw forest products. Storage buildings can be placed outside of industry areas. Small log yard storage can be placed outside of industry areas. So this is for storing raw forest products. 
What do we have over here for warehouses? So... So we've got those warehouses working. Let's just do a, f a fresh take here. Uh, so that is making some some production value to our city. Hopefully that's helping us make money. Um, so this is animal, crops, and flour. We have animal here, flour here, and we're doing timber there. Okay, so that's not that far away. If we did something on this block, maybe. So let's see. Let's look at our factories again. Do we unlock a new factory? What is this one? Furniture factory needs paper and timber. So we've got timber right there. Let's see if we where we can cram this in. This is a big boy. Wow. Can we do it on this direction? We can. So this is our furniture factory. Let's come in and dezone this. Somebody already started moving back in there. But let's do that. We have our furniture factory. We have timber nearby. So now we just need a place to store paper nearby. Which may as well be right there. So, what is this one? It's the lemonade factory. Crops and glass. And then this one is the clothing factory. Animal products, crops, and plastic. Food factory, flour, paper, animal products, and what? And plastic. Okay. So let's do another warehouse. Small warehouse. We have timber already, and we need paper. So let's see if we can... Can we store paper? We can. So paper and timber are going to be on these. And then we have the flour and animal products. How do we store crops? Do grain silos, uh, do they have to be on, on premises? So farm. Large grain silo. Storage buildings can be placed outside of industry areas. Okay, great. So let's let's move some stuff around here because let's see if we can move. Actually, it's a good question. Can we move stuff while their buildings are full? We can. Okay. Let's move this over here for one second. We'll move this down to the end of the block so that we have timber and paper. And that's what's needed here to make furniture. And then over here, the three things that we need, animal products, crops, and flour. So animal products, flour. And then we'll cram in a grain silo if we can. Yeah, nice. So everything that we need to make baked goods is right there, or ice cubes, depending on who you ask. And then everything that we need to make furniture is right here. So we have polluting factories that are already in this polluted area, so that's totally fine. So we should be good there. We've got some crime happening over here. We've got a police station right there. It should They should be able to get to that. I would hope. So as of right now, we've got our first level 5 farm. And it is just cranking right along. Making some money. And then in turn, we're sending the goods off to here. You can see there is a material cost and a production value. Ultimately, I think that all adds up to profit. And then this one will take some time. We don't have enough stuff. Oh, speaking of, there we go. We've got enough stuff to start making some furniture. So production value 2400, material cost 840. So we're we're starting to do some good here. Now we did get that next tile, I believe, right? Uh, 
Why? <laughs> uh, I'm grunting because I would like to build the off-ramp. I guess we could keep building the city and knowing that the traffic is going to get worse and then eventually build the off-ramp up there. I think that's what we're going to have to do, unfortunately. So let's see what we've got. Did we, Mark, we didn't map all this out. So, way up here, out in the edge. Absolutely residential. No questions asked. This could be a little street of commercial. A little, little shopping plaza on the corner here, you know? And maybe what we could do... Make things a little funky. Where is it? Um, let's go to the paths, and let's do a little pavement path through here. To separate the zones a bit, but also give pedestrians a way to cut through. This is a very long block. And then we'll get back to our zoning and zone that off in commercial and then back over here to residential. And then since we have so much demand for it, let's see. Let's get some more office in here. Like so, maybe? And we'll even do office along this street here. And then let's figure out where our highway is going to be. So I think we come down at least another 30. It's a good length for the blocks. If we did something like that, where the highway came down in through here, you could kind of separate the town out into an east and a west half. And I think for this one, we can do six lane road all the way up with the trees for decoration. And maybe that could even come back here. We'll come out to here, and then maybe what we'll do, just to sketch a quick idea out. Is start following along the coast this way, so like, we'll do a little bit of a coastal road. Uh, it's just an idea, I'm going to leave that for now, but this is a placeholder, what we can build up to. At least in terms of the highway, we can certainly keep going, and we will keep going. But I'd love to get to the next milestone. Does the next well, actually? Does the next milestone give us an area? It does not. So fifteen thousand. We're almost there, anyways. Twenty-four thousand for the next area. All right. So I guess we're gonna have to keep building. <laughs> ah, I didn't mean to do that. All right. Let's um, let's call it quits for today's episode. I think that's a pretty good spot to break on. We're making progress. We've got a very successful farm. Or. At least for my first farm, I'm pretty happy with it. And then uh, we'll keep working on that forestry area. We'll keep dropping in all those unique factories whenever we can. That works. And we have the most demand for commercial now. So we'll do a block on either side there. This is starting to fill in so we don't have to worry about those power problems. Let's double check our water and, and call it a day. Glad I did that. There we go. Pretty good spot, I think, for today. This town is coming together fast. I like it. I do like it. We gotta work on this park. So we'll double check the forestry next time, see how that's all doing. And then let's get working on the park. And just look at that. Beautiful five-star Dales Farms. Amazing start. Love it, love it, love it. Where is, um... Where's Pooch's house? Wasn't that one of the... Wasn't that the farm building? Did it level up and change? Did they get rid of my, my dog house? I'm gonna have to go back and check the, one of the previous videos. 
and see where that was. It must have been at a house that I moved out of here. Or did this get bigger? This got bigger, didn't it? That's ridiculous. You you got rid of Pooch's house? I gotta double check that. Somebody tell me if I'm crazy. I thought it was here on this property. All right, well. I live up here now. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, likes, comments, shares. 15,000. Hang on a second. Uh, loans. Look at all that money. Million dollars in the bank. Um, come on. I want to do. I want to do the outro from the roof. All right. So, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, likes, comment, shares all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe. Hit the bell to get notifications. Follow me on Twitter and join the Discord if you want to get involved in the discussion. Link in the description down below. But until the next one, when we'll dive into more forestry and hopefully unlock that next area, though it's a bit off, we will uh, we'll start expanding some more. Until then, this is Move the Mouse, signing off.